So when you use photonics to do like AI computations, for example, there are two benefits, right? One is it's the speed of light, like literally, look, it's insanely fast. And the second benefit is it's insanely energy efficient. So like, that's why we decided to go into that field. But the problem is that once you have like, you know, when you have a chip, you have your input, you have your computation and you have your output. Mm -hmm. When you do photonic computing, the computation is really fast. But the input comes from electrical places and the output is fed to electrical places. Correct. So when you're reading data from electrical places and you want to convert that to photonic computation, that conversion delay is slower than just using a GPU. So uh, it's not really like worth uh, exploring. And there are some startups like Light Matter who are doing interesting things to circumvent that. And that's why they're worth a billion dollars. I see. And can you share about the traditional ways, how these chips are built, like with digital ways? Like, so the information is coming through in electronic ways, as you mentioned. Right. So what do you do in those traditional ways digitally right now? What, what, how, the, how the chips are being made, especially with NVIDIA or with Apple? How, how, how this is happening in VLSI industry? Well, you have those core buzzwords, right?